Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Modenje Celeste. I'm a tutor at TTC Survey. Uh, I wanted to share with you uh, how we can use uh, ICT tools. And uh, I've chosen uh, to talk about uh, Google Docs as uh, an ICT tool that you can use when we are teaching. Uh, uh, Google Docs is uh, a nice city tool, uh, which is like uh, what the processor, uh, but uh, this one is uh, online. Uh, this uh, ICT tool allows users, allows learners, uh, to do what you call collaborative work. And uh, they get an immediate feedback from the teacher as uh, uh, this is online. Uh, the other advantage of uh, this uh, ICT tool is that learners can share their views. They can share what they are doing with uh, other learners, but also with uh, uh, their teachers. So the teacher can give uh, a comment, uh, can give uh, uh, a feedback. And uh, this is very important when uh, we are teaching uh, uh, by integrating ICT in uh, uh, our activities uh, that we do. A teacher like me, uh, I may want to give uh, uh, additional information to my students. So Google Docs is a very good asset that I can use. Uh, you may need to give uh, uh, different uh, topics to learners so that they can discuss, so that they can share, so that they can uh, comment. So uh, in uh, this time, uh, ICT uh, Google Docs can be a very good tool that you can uh, use. So we are going to see how we can use uh, Google Docs when uh, uh, we want uh, uh, to make uh, our classroom uh, engaging, uh, very interesting, when we want to motivate our learners, when we want to, uh, to make our learners uh, active, uh, actively involved. So we can use uh, this uh, uh, Google Docs. To start using uh, Google Docs, uh, we have uh, different uh, ways. Uh, the first one, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, simply uh, type the address as uh, uh, docs.google.com. We press Enter. And uh, we get uh, a screen like this one, uh, where we are given uh, different uh, uh, templates. And I'll choose one. I choose this one, new blank. I click on it. And uh, I get uh, 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 Google Docs. So the interface is this one. It is like uh, uh, what the processor, but this one is uh, Online. So this is the first way. Uh, the second way uh, to start with uh, Google Docs, uh, we can uh, pass through uh, these uh, Google applications. We have uh, nine dots here around the profile. So when we click on them, we can see different uh, Google applications. And among these applications, we have Google Drive, so new. So we have here uh, new Google Docs, new Google Sheets, new Google Slides. So we are using, uh, we choose Google Docs. We click Google Docs. The first thing we have to do, already the document is created. Uh, the first thing we have to do is to to name it, so allow me to call it uh, chemistry. I'm a teacher of chemistry, uh, so the name is there. So this is uh, what the process as you know it, uh, with uh, different uh, options. Uh, so I may put maybe uh, a title of uh, uh, title of my document, uh, a topic I want to share with learners, uh, formation, uh, for 
بون يعني كبون زو كيمستري uh, how is يعني كبونز formed so uh, okay good formation uh, formation of this so as a, you know the processor we can select uh, we can uh, format format formatting so I can increase the size of uh, this uh, title as we do it uh, yes now I can uh, I can uh, copy yeah, copy good I copy and then I go in my document Google document and uh, I paste very good so this is not what this is not what I want okay good uh, I may need also uh, to insert uh, an image we click on insert image so image may be on uh, my device all we can search it on uh, the web we click on it and if you are here we have uh, uh, to search for image, image, uh, maybe for ionic, ionic bond, image, uh, and the Google will search so many images. It's up to me to choose the image that I want. So allow me to choose this one. And when I click on it, there are three. They tell me to insert. Yes, I click on insert. Uh, when I click on insert, the image is uh, already there. So the image is this one. I can uh, increase uh, its size, uh, decrease uh, its size. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is how to insert an image. You may need also a very important feature for this uh, uh, Google Docs is that we can uh, we can uh, even insert a link. So. Uh, Allow me to take this link. Maybe I need my students to read, uh, uh, to open this link and read. I have uh, uh, to copy it, to copy it, and then I go, I paste it in uh, my Google Docs, where I have uh, to insert a uh, uh, link. It is uh, this one. I click on it, and when I click on it, I get uh, a screen like this, where I have to, to paste my link. So here I put additional, additional, additional information about Ionic. Uh, bonds, additional information about the Anika bonds, and then I click apply. Now, when uh, I click apply, the link is already there. Uh, when we put the cursor on uh, the link, immediately it shows, uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it, is, it looks like a link where you can click on it. When you click on it, immediately you get uh, uh, the content there. You may also I need to, to insert a drawing, a chart, a table, uh, page numbers. You may even, uh, for mathematicians, you may even need to insert equations. Equations are here. When you click on an equation, like this one, immediately the equation is there. Plus, maybe I put a fraction there. I put a fraction there. Maybe allow me to take a uh, over B. So this is four, uh, four over over five, and this will be equal, for instance, uh, to what? This will be equal to what? So this is for mathematic mathematicians. I may also need to insert uh, a special character. 
So if you wanted to put a narrow, it is there. If you wanted to, wanted to put uh, numbers, numbers are there for mathematicians, once again, uh, and so on. You remove. And uh, after this, you may need uh, to give your students a different uh, topics to discuss in their groups. So you may put the first topic here. Let's suppose, uh, discuss uh, how formed as the first topic. So this is a topic number, uh, topic number one. Uh, topic number two may say, uh, discuss how, discuss, as it can be the second topic, uh, number three, maybe uh, to discuss compounds. So you want your students to discuss about these three topics. Maybe uh, you may form groups. Group number one will discuss about uh, how ionic bonds are formed. Uh, group number two will discuss about uh, how we should use dot and the cross diagram to represent ionic bonds. Group number three uh, has to discuss about the properties of uh, ionic compounds. So to be able to discuss about these topics, you need to share this document with your learners. Now, uh, how to share it with learners? Uh, we go on share, which it is written, enter names or email address. Uh, let's take an example of uh, an email. My email is uh, well written. So and, uh, I sent uh, this uh, document. I sent this uh, document. Uh, so send an invitation sent. So I send, uh, prefer to send the link. Send. The student with uh, that email will see the link and they will click on the link and uh, once he or she clicks on the link, he or she will get uh, uh, this uh, document. Uh, he or she will be able to edit it, to give a comments, etc. Uh, so I can also share uh, this uh, Google Docs without uh, sending an email. I can click on uh, Get shareable link, yes. When I click on it, uh, copy the link here. But here I have some options. Uh, the first one, uh, anyone with the link can edit. So if I send, uh, I share this link, uh, the one with the link can edit. So if I want him or her to edit, I can uh, click on it. Uh, another option is that, Anyone with the link can comment, can give a comment. If you want this option, you click on it. Anyone with the link can view. If you want a such option, you click on it. Uh, now, after, after choosing the option here, you copy the link. So already the link is copied, and then uh, you paste on another document, and then you share it with uh, others. Uh, as a teacher, when preparing a lesson plan, you have also to include uh, uh, this uh, link because you will need it. So you will need it and uh, you copy it as I've done it and you paste it in your uh, lesson uh, uh, plan. Uh, this is done. Comment. So first you select. And when you select a text or a picture or an image, it depends upon uh, where you wanted to comment. There is a, a plus sign here around. When you click on it, so it is add a comment. So when you click on it, you can put your comment. Uh, how are you? So comment, so this is a comment. And then when you wanted to uh, to reply once again. Okay, I can reply. 
uh, how are you fine uh, etc so every time you want to to comment you have to select so reply 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 so it is the same as learners can comment on a topic which is given by a teacher learners can comment on their own works and so on so uh, i've sent a link by email supposing that this device is a, a device of a student i'm going to check whether the student can get the the document so i go in uh, my email i open my email uh, so it should be this one because i have a new email it should be this one yes uh, the document was a chemistry it is there uh, open the docs I open i check whether i can see the document that i've sent exactly it is the same document so you can see uh, this is a, a teacher this is a student a student can edit uh, student can edit so i've put some topics uh, the first group maybe has to discuss on this one this is the second topic the second group will be discussing down here they will put their ideas here their views here and what they are do doing there yes can you see uh, I type here, student type, teacher also, uh, what the student is typing is seen on the screen of the teacher. Yes. So this is how we have to use Google Docs in uh, our classrooms, especially uh, when uh, we want our learners to do a collaborative work, or when we want them to get an immediate feedback, and. Uh, when we want them to share what they are doing. Thank you very much for watching.